hello, hello, hello. It's the last video of the series. I don't even know what the series is called. The Mbumi case. I'm kidding. Hello, everybody. Listen, I put out a post on LinkedIn. Guys, I thought people on LinkedIn loved me. <laughs> I put out a post on LinkedIn. It was very captivating. This post was very inspirational. It was very informative. It was very catchy. And then at the end, I was like, I, I am on this mission. I have this goal of speaking on 10 stages before 2025. Please put me on 10 stages before 2025. And guess what happened? <laughs> Nothing. And then I met my current speaking coach. And she said to me, instead of wanting to be on people's stages, create your own stages. Oh, and that changed the game for me. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my million, 12 month million rand game plan on how I'm going to put myself in my own stages and not wait on anybody to put me on their stage anymore. Because guess what? This girl doesn't need your stage. I'm kidding. <laughs> I do need your stage. Well, I do want your stage. I want it. I don't know about needing it. But if this is what you want to hear, how I am planning to take Purpose Practitioners Club to its first million rand in 12 months or less. Stick around. <laughs> So I told you right in the intro that I thought my people loved me. I thought my people would jump at the opportunity to, oh, have you heard Mbumi speak? Maga, let's bring her onto our platform, into our organization. People were just like, prove yourself. So guess what I did? I got a speaking coach and she said to me, don't worry about being put on other people's stages. Create your own stages. Whether these are virtual stages or actual stages, create your own stage. Guys, I'm going to share for the very first time ever my business model with you. If you want to copy it, copy it. If you want to be a part of it to change your own life, be a part of it. But I'm going to share with you because Mfuna, at some point, like at some interval, I don't want to say monthly because I think it will me maybe quarterly to be like so here's where we are on that goal because there's no reason to hide how well we're doing right if we are doing well at all and if it's not happening so it's oh guys that thing but i have every I've, I've got the confidence that it will work because i saw it work when i trialed it right so 10 stages before 2025 my coach says don't worry about that do your own thing and here's here's a reality that i quickly 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 came to it's actually really hard as an outsider to penetrate these organizations, right? Whether you want to pitch your coaching services or your consulting services or something as simple as, I would like to be a speaker. Are you on the vendor list? Oh, whoa. That vendor list, you will put your name and it will take years and decades before anybody ever calls you because people like repeat suppliers, right? So they'll ask you, are you part of the vendor list? Um, they will they will ask you, are you part of an agency? Because that's what happened with me. They're like, oh, you're a speaker. Are you part of an agency? Cause, oh, Jesus, agency. Yeah. So it's really, really been hard to penetrate these organizations and these markets. Others will ask, hey, do you have certification? Like that other lady. And I'm just like, oh, the Lord has certified me. What's that song? My sins were <laughs> yeah, the mama said when the Lord said to you. <laughs> That's not what the song says, by the way. <laughs> anyway, so it's it's very, very difficult, right? It's, it's quite difficult to get into these markets. So when she said to me, create your own stage, I was like, that's more like it. And here's the fascinating thing. I didn't realize that over the years. That's exactly what I've been doing. I've been running webinars for three years. I've been running webinars, in fact, for four years. Like, I've just been running webinars, introducing people to my things and getting them to come. And it's been really great. So I've been creating my own virtual stages. And she's like, now 
we are taking it to the next level. And I was like, oh, no, I'm scared. And I went to God and I'm like, Lord, I'm so scared. I don't want to do this. And he says to me, am I the only one that's been a part of our chats? Like you've been clocking in for prayer. You've been clocking in for devotion. Am I the only one that's there? Because you told me that this is what you want. You told me you want to be on stages and the direction I'm pushing you to now is going to get you exactly there. I was at a function not too long ago and I met, I not met, I saw my mentor that I hadn't seen in about a year. When I saw her car in the parking lot, I was like, she's here. And immediately when I got there, I looked everywhere to find her and I didn't. I'm just like, I knew you were here. I was so excited. And when we left, because we stayed behind and we chatted and caught up. And when we left, she says to me, Mpumi, this is what you should be doing. This type of thing is exactly what you should be doing. Now, I don't know if she knows this, but she probably does because I talk to her about a whole lot of the things that I want to do. When she said that, and it confirmed something in my spirit, right? Like, yes, this is exactly what I should be doing. This is what I've been asking God for, but I've just been waiting for somebody to recognize me to find my video to see me somewhere to hear me make a call oh i've been waiting for permission i've been waiting for approval i've been waiting to be spotted i've been waiting to be scouted when i can create my own thing and so 2024 the last part of 2024 and 2025 is going to be me speaking on my own stages and here is what it looks like so i was very emotional in september and the reason i got so emotional was because i realized that over the years i had i had created and refined my program to a point where it can deliver the best results at a quicker time. So let me just give you a bit of background. When I started Purpose Practitioners Club, uh, no, when I started my program Purpose to Profession, I started it by having discovery calls, right? So I put out a very janky video on, on, on LinkedIn. I, I, can, I still remember it. I was so demure. And like, I mean the word in its actual definition. I was very reserved and timid in that video. So I was very demure in the video and i was like hey guys so i realized da, 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 da. oh bantu i was a nunu baby this was in 2000 and 2020 i was the nunu baby and i was like yo so if you'd like help just let me know and my scheduling thingy was so full my calendar was so full Call after call after call. Like, it was so full that I took calls on the weekend. I remember that time Family Feud was becoming a thing on Sundays. I would get so sad because I like those kind of shows. But then I'm just like, yo, I need to go take a call. Yo, sometimes I'd be taking calls on my way home from work. I was inundated with calls. People like, yay, help us, help us. So I got, I think at that time, I got six clients from all the calls that I was taking. And those six clients, I went through the, fr I built the framework with those, with those six clients, honestly, because God gave me the blueprint. I had sort of edified it or fortified it, but it was the first time I was actually now testing it with anybody other than myself, right? So I was building this thing. I was building this program with my clients every, it was so funny because it was during lockdown. So I'm on a call with Carol and when we're done, I'm like, Carol, I need to leave because our time is up because I've got another call with Olivia. I was very, I was even at 2020, me, I was booked and busy. So I went through this one-on-one -on -one coaching for three months with each of these clients. And then so many other people were like, but me, I want, I want, I want. And I was just like, okay, let me do a master, a webinar and see how many other people I can get in the program did a webinar and the people were just like they were waiting for the webinar to finish because they were already convinced that they wanted to buy the program so literally after i said okay now you can buy i got so many messages i'm in i'm in i'm in also at that time no i wanted to say at that time it was cheap here's a shocking thing that i'm gonna tell you and i wanted to tell you later but i'm gonna tell you now i was actually looking at how much my one-on-one -on -one clients paid me in 2020 and how much my last cohort for purpose to profession paid me can you believe in four years 
I haven't changed the price of this thing. It, it can't be business that runs like that. Is there a business that runs like that? My clients, my one-on-one, -on -one, we're paying like one nine fifty for three months. So every month for three months. So that's like two, four, six, six thousand rand. Do you know how much my last cohort paid for purpose practitioner for purpose of profession? Five nine nine seven. How does that work? How do you run a business for four years that you keep refining and fine tuning and bettering? You don't change the price, guys. Everybody who thought, yeah. I'm going to wait until the next one to lowball this girl. Your time is up. Sorry. It's over. We're not playing those games anymore. Anyway, that's not, what I, that's not where I was. The webinar happened. I got a new set of clients. Then I was like, hey, guys, the one-on-one -on -one is going to be the death of me. Let's do this in a, in a group container. We did it for three months. It was great. But my clients were like, oh, this is so much work. We need more time. I said, Bob's your uncle. The next cohort is going to be six months. The next cohort was six months. I, it was nice, six months. But then my clients got tired. They started not pitching for the sessions. I got tired because six months in one thing. Oh, it was a lot. And I think because we also had time. You know, here's, here's the, I think it's Pareto, Pareto principle that says any activity or task will take the amount of time allocated to it. The reason you could finish that essay the night before it's due was because you told yourself, I've only got four hours to finish this thing. But if you tell yourself, I've got five months to finish this thing, it will take you five months to finish it. That's the Pareto principle, right? So I think my, the Pareto principle was heavy on my clients over the six month period. They were just like, ah, oh, we've got six months to figure this out. Ah, let's just chill. And the results there were not great. And then I was like, ah, this is not working. Let's take it back to three months. I got another set of, co of clients in the cohorts, and that was great. And then, what happened? Oh, and then I remember that, that business loan that I took, and then I made a huge amount of money. I was like, guys, for 20,000 rand, we are, I'm going to work with you for a year. Can I tell you how long it took to get through the program? A year and some change. And I was like, yeah, man. But here's what was happening. Every time, and then it, yeah, and then it went back to six months again. Hey guys, we went busy. I was just very busy iterating. But here's what happened with every cohort. I was like, mm, my clients are getting stuck on this thing, and there's no need for them to be getting stuck here. How can I either make this better or remove it altogether, but still maintain the essence? So I removed things that were obstacles for my clients. I refined the things that were like major struggles for my clients. If there were exercises that had difficult questions, I fine-tuned those. And then I started using different technologies that came up to really, really make the system what it is today. And I invested in coaching. So the better I got, the more I learned on how to do certain things better or faster. I implemented that in my program and my clients were getting results of the results of the results. The last set of cohorts for this program have gotten massive results and it's such it's such a strong testament to the fact that i have spent time tweaking this thing refining it and really making it the program that it is today purpose to profession as it stands is at its best quality yet and so i realized i can get my clients great results in a shorter period of time let's take purpose to profession from three months to six weeks and it's exactly what we did it was Purpose to Profession, six-week program. And my clients did it in six weeks, and they got results. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. And guess what I did? I fine-tuned it even more because I was growing. I was learning. And the more I was getting better, the better I got at solutioning, my clients, solutioning for my clients, the better I made this thing. And so the, the, the push I felt now was it no longer makes sense to run Purpose to Profession as a six-week program. It does not make sense for my clients because now the people I was talking to on discovery calls were saying to me, and the clients I was coaching in the program were saying to me, I'm going to talk about the discovery calls. I said to this lady, we can do four sessions. And she's like, no, that's a lot of time. I can pay this amount of money for just one session and I'll be good. And I was like, hmm. Hmm. Well, that sounds like a plan. My clients in the program are like, Bumi, we are working professionals. Sometimes we don't have time to go through the modules or come to the sessions. Others can't come at six because they're stuck at work. And I was like, yeah, man. 
the way the system has been created now no longer warrants for it to be run as a six-week program. It no longer makes sense. My clients want results quickly and they are okay to pay for the results that will come quickly. They want to spend their time doing the thing. One of my clients said to me yesterday on one of the calls, Bumi, I don't want to do trial and error anymore. I don't want to try this and do this and do this. I just want to know this is the direction and all my efforts and all my energies are focused on this direction because I know that this is the way to go. And I was like, you are my girl because from day one, I was saying trial and error. Mm -mm. All those gurus that tell you, you, you have to try different things before you know what, ah, yeah. no, if you can find the thing and then do everything to make the thing work, why not do that? And so it came to me that purpose to profession, if continued to be run as a six week program would be so disingenuous of me. It would no longer be in integrous and it would not be helping my clients at the highest level. So guess what is going to happen now? Purpose to profession is going to be a live experience. Yes, no longer going to be a lot of Zoom calls, a lot of video that you have to know. We are coming together for a weekend and we are having an immersive, explosive event. I teach you the system. You input the things in the system. The system tells you this is your purpose. This is the profession that is best suited for this purpose. This is how you thrive in this purpose. I teach you those things. You spend the rest of, if you want to spend six weeks or three months or six months or a year implementing, that is on you. But I would have delivered on the system in one weekend and you've got everything you need. Imagine... I don't know where you've been and I don't know how far your journey has, has gone, right? But I am essentially, you know what I like to call this experience? A decade in a day. There are people who for a decade, one of my clients is like, Bumi, I've been feeling like this for 10 years. And I'm like, yo, 10 years. I will reduce what you've been feeling over 10 years to just one day and help you answer the question you've been asking for 10 days, for 10 decades, for 10 decades, Ooh, 100. for 10 years, which is a decade, right? That's, that's the beauty of it, that I, it's, the system has been refined so beautifully, so magnificently. One of my clients was like, I don't know why you didn't tell us that this is exactly what we're going to get because, geez, this thing is magical. And I'm like, I know, I created it. But it is so good that now it can deliver results at a, at a at such a reduced time because in all honesty my clients aren't paying for my time you'll never hear me say you get three hours of my time a day you get five modules you guys don't care about that what you care about is is, is the result you care about what is this thing gonna do for me you care about your time and so in a weekend we're gonna have amazing experiences experts and this 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 master master mastermind masterpiece of a system to help you walk out of that weekend experience knowing exactly what your purpose is knowing the, the the profession to pursue it through and knowing how to thrive and let me tell you one thing i am never gonna send any of my purpose practitioners out there to be using their muscles to make money to be using managerial skills to make money or to just be using their mouths to make money we are using our minds to make money and guess what happens when people become imagineers? They make good, good money. And that's what I want, guys. I want to create a generation of purpose practitioners who are wealthy. Wealthy enough to do charitable work. Wealthy enough to change their generational poverty. Wealthy enough to live comfortable lives. This is the dream. So I am doing masterclasses ever so often. And in the masterclass, you are definitely going to be invited to the experience. I'm not going to share about the experience on social media. You're not going to see it anyway. It's an invite only experience. It's going to be intimate. It's going to be explosive. And that is where we are taking purpose to profession now. Talking about those stages that I wanted to be put on. And now the stage that I'm creating putting an entire event and experience together 
to not not just an event where people are like oh i'm so inspired that was so motivational but becoming their own inspiration because they are doing the work and they will implement everything that they not just learned but did while at the experience that is the dream i'd always wanted to run events but it never i never it never made sense back then because i didn't know how it was going to be different to everything else but this this i think i've landed on my gold mine and i want to share the exploits with you so that is how we are getting a million rand in 12 months changing people's lives at the highest level and being very intentional about doing the things that work and doing them well so shem i know there are people who said to me yo i wanna when my when my coins are fine i'm coming mm. I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what to say to you. I really don't know what to say to you. But all of those proficient professionals, panic professionals who are just like, sis, I've been doing this thing for so long. I've got the experience. I've got the craving. I really want to change. Click the link below because it'll take you to my masterclass and the masterclass will take you to the invite only experience that will change your life and your career forever and that concludes the series and it's so beautiful because a week from now purpose practitioners club is turning five and oh what a journey it's been a journey of pain a journey of confusion a journey of brilliant successes a journey of growth but a journey of really changing people's lives and i wouldn't have it any other way i am doing what i love in the service of those who love what i do and i'm living inside of god's dream for me and that's what i want for you too but me wanting it for you is not enough you have to want it for yourself as well so if you are ready to become a purpose practitioner this is the place this is the girl and the system that i have built over the years is the system for you come through i can't wait to see what you are going to do with your career happy birthday purpose practitioners club Bumi. you've done well honey all right bye guys i'll see you in the next video like comment share subscribe all of those things all of those things and until next time bye